Hello everyone, I hope you are uh, safe and healthy. Welcome to our first lesson in applied uh, linguistics. Uh, today's lesson will be about the definition of uh, applied linguistics. So, uh, applied linguistics is the theoretical and empirical investigation of real world problems in which language is a central issue. This definition is made by Bromfit in 1977. Uh, Bromfit here uh, stresses the idea that uh, applied linguistics is theoretical and empirical investigation. So it, it investigates theoretically and, empir and empirically the real world problems in which language, you see, language is a central issue of this of, of applied linguistics. Another definition is that uh, applied linguistics is using what we know about language, how it is learned, and how it is used in order to achieve some purpose or solve some problems in the real world. That is, uh, this definition is uh, by Wilkins, 1999. Uh, Wilkins here uh, speaks of the idea that uh, applied linguistics, so he uses what we know about language, that is the knowledge of language, be it syntactic, phonological, uh, morphological, and how it is learned, that is language acquisition. So uh, the, other, the, the last thing is uh, how it is used, so the, the language use, that is pragmatics. So applied linguistics uses our knowledge of language, uses language acquisition and language and pragmatics language use in order to achieve the uh, the purpose of uh, the purpose of problems the purpose and solves the problems in the real world okay so the other definition is uh, by grab uh, 2000 the focus of applied linguistics is on trying to resolve language-based problems that people encounter in the real world, whether they be learner, teachers, uh, supervisors, academics, lawyers, service providers, those who need social services, test makers, policy developers, dictionary makers, translators, or a whole range of clients. So here. Grab speaks of the areas that applied linguistics tries to investigate on. So applied, linguistic, applied linguistics investigates and solves the problems that language that are related to language. Okay, and these problems or the area of these problems can be in learners. For example, how learners uh, should learn language. Okay, or the methods of learning. For, for teachers also, what are the methods of teaching, okay? So these are the areas that, uh, according, of course, to Grab, that's, that Applied Linguistics tries uh, to investigate and provide solution to the problems uh, of these areas. This means that, so we're, we are to agree, if, if we are to agree about something in, in all these definitions, that would be that language is the main concern of Applied Linguistics. So it tries to provide practical solutions to language-based problems. So all definitions agree about the fact that applied linguistics solve the problems of real world and language is the central issue. In other words, applied linguistics uses our knowledge about language, so be it syntactic, phonological, morphological, to find solution to a real world problems and help improve language teaching for example, provide methods for the teachers, how to teach language. For the learners, of course, how to learn language and planning. In planning, here is mean uh, is uh, what is meant by planning is, for example, planning a lesson or planning a test or planning syllables, etc. So applied linguistics concerns itself with second language, L2, because second language is more problematic in comparison with L1. You see, in, in a kid, in four or five years, is already uh, a good speaker of his mother, his or her mother tongue. But early learners spend years to uh, learn uh, another language. 
So it takes time. That's why applied linguistics tries to find solution to this problem. Why L2 or why learning another language takes more time in comparison to learning your mother tongue. Uh, put differently, whatever level learners of L2 reach, they can never reach the competence of a native speaker. They may reach fluency and accuracy of L2, but there is always a certain flavor of the mother tongue which intervenes every now and then in terms of accent, intonation, pronunciation. Okay, so in learning another language, you may reach uh, the fluency and accuracy. You may be accurate and uh, fluent in, in, in another language, but your mother tongue always intervenes. So you will always find yourself having an accent of your L1, not in your L2. Okay, so you will use another language, but with the accent of your mother tongue, the intonation of your mother tongue, and the pronunciation, of course, of your mother tongue. Uh, this is it for today. Thank you very much, and have a good time.